less than 1% of America's population serve in today's military. As rare as this is, these military members are proud to sacrifice their lives without even having citizenship yet. Honorable Ambassador David Robinson expresses this significance. The uniforms you wear, your presence here in Afghanistan, on a day when most Americans are safe and secure with their families and friends, are eloquent testimony to your allegiance, to your courage, and to your loyalty. You are eloquent testimony to the best that America is. To some members, like Specialist Sabah Ebas, this was the perfect setting for a naturalization ceremony. Diego Carpio. I love to serve in the armed forces, but when I served, there was something missing for me. And uh, when I got deployed, I heard that uh, they do this process here, out here, naturalized, get a US citizen. So I went ahead and uh, did my process out here. It gives me more uh, pride that I'm being deployed and uh, being a US citizen and serve the country. Roberto Martinez. Specialist Dora Tapola expresses the relief of finally getting her citizenship. It's an honor. It's, it's a fight worth fighting for. I mean, nobody else gets to say that they sworn in in Afghanistan in a combat zone. Really, it's a privilege. These 37 service members are not only citizens now, but defend the nation they now call home. I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Zach Lopez, Bagua, Afghanistan.